Hi friends, this book is called Follow Me, Animal, Parents, and Babies. So that says underneath, it's a subtitle, Follow Me. Do you notice what this is here? An exclamation point. So this is by a company called National Geographic Kids. And it's by, let's see, there's an author here, Shira Evans. What kind of animals do you see on the cover? Hmm, they are a kind of bear. Do you know what kind of bear that is? Right, I think I heard you, a polar bear. And we see there is a baby and a parent, a mommy, a daddy, or something in between. Do you know what a baby bear is called? Usually what they call baby bears? They call them cubs. Ooh, look at these animals. I think these are lemurs. Oh my goodness, look at those eyes. So we're gonna look at some animal parents and babies in this book. And as you see, this is a non-fiction text. Do you have any non-fiction books at home? And it tells you in the front how to use this book. And you can read it together. So if you have any non-fiction books at home, let us know how you read them together. Because sometimes they're so long, you can't read through the whole thing in one sitting. So this is the table of contents. And this tells you what you can find in the book. Let's see what we should look at. Chapter one, finding food. Your turn. Chapter two, on the move. Your turn. Oh, it tells you how to read it. it tells you a time to read and different chapters with information. Chapter three, making a home. Then it says your turn. And then chapter four, using tools. Then it says your turn. So let's, let's look at finding food. Let's see what we see here. Chapter one, finding food. A mother polar bear points her nose in the air. She sniffs, trying to smell food under the ice. It's cold here and food is hard to find. She is teaching her cubs to hunt. She stops and sniffs the ice. The cubs watch, crack. She breaks the ice and finds food. This group of sea lion pups plays on the beach while their mothers dive in the sea. The pups are waiting for their mothers to return with food. Soon, they will be big enough to fish too. When a pup is big enough, it follows its mother to the sea. She teaches it how to swim and how to dive. You see that word they bolded dive. She teaches it how to fish. Look at those baby seals. Let's see what we have here. <gasps> Another kind of bear. A panda cub trots behind its mother as she moves through a bamboo forest. Before long, she finds a comfortable place to sit. Her cub sits down next to her and watches as she munches on. Do you know what that is that she's munching on? bamboo and then there's a little fact right here under the photo it says panda pandas have a bone that looks like a thumb you see that it helps them hold the bamboo she holds the bamboo with her front paw and she munches you guys munch 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 when we eat our food right the cub sees how she eats soon the cub will know how to eat bamboo too I'm going to show you a few more pictures from this book of animals and their babies. And looks like they eat something called a millipede. A millipede scurries past a family of mer rats. These are mer rats. That's a tasty meal, but the millipede is poisonous. The pups must learn how to clean it before they can eat it. Let's see what other animals we see in here. We have cheetahs. And we see the word hunt highlighted because they are hunting for their food. 
there's the mother cheetah and there's the baby cheetahs that they also call cubs. And this is your turn. So this is about cats and how cats, pet cats that we have at home. Do any of you have cats at home? That they like to hunt too. Well, like Kitty's Wild's cousins hunt food, a pet hunts toys. Kittens learn how to hunt from adult cats. Look at each photo and explain what the kitten is doing. What is the kitten doing there? How about here? Looks like he caught it. <gasps> Do you see the different steps? One, two, three. All the different steps of how he hunted for that toy he wanted, right? Look at the animals you see here. I'm just gonna show you some pictures. Look at that baby crocodile inside her mama's mouth. That is funny. so many things in this book to discover. That's a lemur. That's what I was talking about. Do you see the newborn pup? That's the name of her baby, a pup. Maybe if you want, if you take a pause of this video, you could read some of these pages too. Oh, one of my favorites, very majestic. What are these animals called? Elephants, a herd of elephants. You know what a baby elephant is called? Do you remember from our conversation? A calf. And they travel in herds. And look at them in the water. And they stay very close to their mothers for protection. They connect to their tails as they go through the water. As babies get bigger, they move in different ways. Hey, that happens with us too. Finish each sentence. Tell how each baby moves when it is little. Tell how each baby moves when it is bigger. Oh, maybe we can do this one day. Right, when a baby lemur is little, it rides. So these are some questions you can answer. And here they are making some habitats, which we're talking about this week. It's early morning and a mother orangutan swings through the forest with her baby. They are looking for a good place to build a nest. They stop along the way, they rest, they eat fruit. Soon they are ready to move on. They will find a good place to sleep. Look at those orangutans. They swing through the trees. More orangutans. Look at that picture of orangutan and its parent. And another game that maybe we can play later. And what is this one about using tools? The forest is full of food, but it's not always easy to get to. A clever capuchin, ka, and it tells you how to pronounce it, capuchin mother teaches her baby to open a nut. She uses a strong rock to smash the shell open and her baby watches and learns. Look at the baby watching the parent show them something, how to do something. Do your, does your family show you how to do things? I know I show my baby how to do things at home, how to hold his spoon. And this capuchin, the name of this animal, is showing its baby how to open a nut. The baby is hungry. It learns from its mother. It finds its own rock and smashes a nut. Now the baby can eat too. Look how quickly that baby learned that skill. The parent showed them and they did it. Pretty cool. That's a mother otter and she's floating on the sea. And look, she's carrying her pup with her. She's looking for clams to eat and will teach her pup how to open the hard shells. <gasps> she puts a rock on her stomach and she smashes the clam against it. Hey, 
That other capuchin animal did that too, used a rock. It's not easy. The pup floats nearby. It will watch and learn. And then down here it says, sea otters use their stomachs like a table. Oh, now we're talking about sea animals. So a dolphin mother and her calf swim through the sea. They look for toys to play with, like a sea cucumber on the sea floor. Did you know dolphins like to play? Just like, they say dolphins love to play. They find many toys in the sea. How funny, we like to play too. A thirsty mother chimpanzee stops at a clearing in the forest. She knows leaves make good cups. You see how she's using a leaf as a cup? She folds one and uses it to drink water. A baby learns to fold leaves too, learning to use a tool to help it live in its forest home. What kind of tools have you learned to use, right? Look, some animals use tools and you do too. Look at these tools. How did you learn how to use these from someone older? Tell us how you use each tool. So maybe from a parent or a grandparent or an aunt or uncle or anyone in your life. Did you ever learn how to ride a bike yet? Use a water bottle? I remember those days, right? Crayons. I remember all of our friends using crayons at Jakare, right? Using the computer or a pair of scissors, right? And this just tells you a little bit about the book in the back. So that was a pretty long book called Follow Me, Animal Parents and Babies. And there are a lot of interactive pieces in this that I hope we can share with you during some of our morning meetings. And maybe you could find this book and check it out too by Shara Evans and the National Geographic Kids. I hope you enjoy it and have fun and pause this video at some point to maybe answer some questions that you know about what animals use as tools, what you use as tools, some habitats that animals live in, maybe besides the trees that orangutans live in, what are some other habitats you can think of? And also in the beginning, all about how babies eat with their families. What do you eat? What do you eat together as a family? I hope you enjoy. Bye.